Hi everyone, I'm bringing you today an unboxing of the Mystical Tarot of the Saints by Psychic Nate with artwork by Cristina Scagliotti. I was so excited to get this one as I am very interested to um, uh, start working with uh, the saints, with the Christian Pantheon. And uh, this is part of my healing journey uh, and healing my, uh, my um, uh, Christian background. And, uh, and finding magic in what I already know, in, um, in the archetypes I already know. And, um, I think this is a gorgeous deck for, for connecting with, uh, saints. Uh, the deck comes with a guidebook as well. We'll take a look at it a little bit later. So we have the full at, as the signed expedite. Um, I don't know much about Saint Expedite, uh, um, but uh, I know he's a very nice saint to work with for uh, the new beginnings, for unlocking opportunities. And um, I'm excited to see Saint Expedite as uh, the full. And then we have the magician, Saint Cyprian. The high priestess, Mary Magdalene which is my favorite deity from the Christian Pantheon. And uh, I, I started working with her uh, for a few years now. And she's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous energy to work with. The Empress, Saint Helena. The Emperor, Saint Louis. The Hierophant, Saint Peter. The Lovers, Saint Valentine. Gorgeous card. The Chariot, Saint Christopher. So he was known for um, taking people um, across the water. Justice. Saint Michael, which is also Archangel Michael. The Hermit, Saint Onofre. The Wheel, Saint Catherine. Strength, Saint Martha. The Hanged Man, Saint Sebastian. Death, La Muerte, Santa Muerte. Temperance, Saint Cecilia. The Devil, Fallen Angel. The Tower, Saint Barbara. The Star, Three Kings. The moon, Mary. Beautiful. The sun, Jesus. Judgment, Saint Gabriel. The world, Saint Francis. And then we have the suit, <clears throat> excuse me, Ace of Chalices, and Two of Chalices, absolutely beautiful, Three of Chalices, Four of Chalices, the Five, the Six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten of chalices. And the artwork is uh, created uh, by um, uh, Christina Scagliotti, and she is actually the uh, same artist whom illustrated the Universal Celtic Tarot. If you are 
familiar with uh, Universal Celtic Tarot. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, tarot decks on the market. And um, I, I really love this art uh, work um, and it's very familiar, familiar to me. Page of Chalices, we have Francisco, Lucia and Yajinta. These were the three children who witnessed the apparition of our Lady of Fatima in Portugal. Knight of Chalices, Saint Lawrence. Queen of Chalices, Saint Elizabeth. King of Chalices, Saint Benedict. Ace of Coins, Two of Coins, Three of Coins, Four of Coins, Five of Coins, Six, Seven of Coins, Eight of coins, nine, and ten. Illustrations are absolutely gorgeous and I feel they are very easy to read, very intuitive. And uh, as long as you know or you learn about these saints, I feel this is a very beautiful deck to connect this really holy energy of the saints, which are actually the heroes of um, Christianity, if you will. Uh, to me, I was not raised Catholic. I was raised uh, Christian, but in the Eastern Orthodox tradition, uh, some of the um, uh, saints uh, depicted here are not familiar to me, but I love to learn about them. And um, yes, I, I love this deck and I think it's a gorgeous as a learning tool or and also as a way to connect with the wisdom from, uh, from uh, the saints, St. Matthew. Queen of Coins, St. Hedwig. King of Coins, St. Balthazar. Ace of Staffs, Two of Staffs, Three of Staffs, Four of Staffs, Five of Staffs, Six, Seven, Eight, Nine and ten. Page of Staffs, Saint Luke. Knight of Staffs, Saint Anthony. One of my favorite saints. And one of many people's favorite saints too. Queen of Staffs, Saint Genevieve. King of Staffs, Saint Joseph. And then we move into the swords and we have Ace of Swords. Absolutely gorgeous images. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. Four of Swords. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And then we have Page of Swords, St. Martin, Knight of Swords, St. Paul, Queen of Swords, John of Arc, King of Swords, St. George. Yeah, so this was it, the... the uh, flip through the mystical tarot of the saint. 
Uh, what I wish uh, to do is to try and pull a card. Uh, I really love the quality of the cards. They they are much better than uh, Los Carabio cards. Um, uh, they, they feel really good in the hand. They don't uh, slip too much. They, they are just just fine to for overhand shuffling. Uh, I don't do ruffle shuffling, so that's that's my style of shuffling anyway. And let's pull a card and ask for a message from the saints and see perhaps which saint wants to step forward. So send us a message today. Uh, or if it's not a saint, what we need to know. And... Um, yeah, let's let's see. We have Justice Son Michael, gorgeous. So let's look at the guidebook and see what um, it's uh, what is written for uh, Saint Michael. So we have here for one page, very hard to actually read, but um, beautifully done. In this card, Michael, in this card, Michael dominates the scene. His face is determined. His brown locks behind his ears, a thin halo about his, above his head and white big wings on his back. He holds the sharp glistering spare in his right and golden scales in his left hand. His red cloak fluttered about him like a zephyr. There's a golden cross on his brown armor and scaly tentacles emerging from the lower frame of the card. So we have on the bottom here. This card stands for justice, measurement, grace and elegance. In divination, it represents the need to think thoroughly before making a decision and acting out. It also warns against the lack of logic and acting out purely one emotion. In a law reading, when justice comes up, it usually means that cosmic justice is on your side. If this card comes up in a career reading, it can mean good news especially if you are refrained and measured in your actions, choices, and mannerisms. In a spiritual reading, justice points toward a very righteous person with almost zealot-like beliefs. The justice card is already in the air element. Too much air element in a reading points toward a lack of feelings and emotion. This is why one should pay close attention to the accompanying cards as they reveal the deeper meaning of the major arcana. Adversely, justice in a spiritual reading can point towards someone who struggles with forgiveness and should work on it. Yes, beautiful. I, I love I love the way how the guidebook is uh, written. You have a full page for um, explanation of every card. And then at the end, so it's not in the beginning uh, of the guidebook as you may be used with other decks. At the end, you have tarot spread uh, suggestions. Very simple uh, tarot spread suggestions for relationship. Path to resolution. I love this. The issue, material point of view, emotional, spiritual and advice. I love it. And then message from the saints. For this reading, you can use Major Arcana only, which is very interesting because I asked for a message from the saints and a Major Arcana card um, jumped anyway. So um, I, I feel this deck is very well aligned energetically. Yes. <clears throat> so I think this is a gorgeous deck. I'm very keen to start working with it and... Um, to, to dive into it a little bit more. Uh, of course, I just receive it, so I can't uh, tell you much.